Getting our tape ready. Hello. Hi. You guys got your tape? Be wrapping it with the sticky side out on your hand. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. Look Hello. at Welty with her glasses. Oh, Chan Chan. Hey. Get your tape out so we can play our game. We're going to play sticky hand. Hey, Grayson. Mm -hmm. Out of bed. You have your tape. Go ahead and start putting the sticky side out on your hand so we can play the game. Put the sticky side on your hand. Sticky side out. I think. Yeah. And then they're paying for sticky hands. <laughs> you guys are like, what? What are we doing? Both hands or just one hand? Um, well, they can do both hands. It's kind of like a cast on both hands. Okay. Okay. Sophie Joyce, do you have sticky hands? Oh, oh yeah, you do. do we have to <laughs> I'm so glad these things Hannah. require things that we already well, have at our house. Okay. Keep all the sticky on your tape. Again. Stop, stop. All right, we're gonna do everything real quick. All right, I 
mute everybody just because um, I got a lot of tape unraveling right now and we kind of need to start if we want to do Kahoot at the end. And so while you guys got your hands taped, all right, I'm going to go ahead and nail me. Where are you? Hope y'all are having fun taping up your hands. I'm trying to find my thingy. Yeah, don't worry, I'm just my I can't find my thing. There you are. Okay. I think I'm ready to get started. I couldn't find my share screen thing. There you are. Okie dokie, guys. So, hey, my name is Nikki, and I'm so glad you're here in our virtual jump. So, if this is your first time on Zoom with us, we're so happy you're here because we're going to have some fun. So, we're talking about determination this month, and determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. God can give you determination you need to get unstuck from any kind of sticky situation. So speaking of getting unstuck, we've got a sticky game to play. So are you guys ready to play? Try to put your hands up if you are, because I know your thumbs are kind of taped up. You guys ready to play? Yeah. All right. So here's what's going to do. I'm going to give you a minute because I know some of you are not in your houses. So I'm going to give you a minute. I'm going to set my timer. There it is to go and put as much things on your sticky hands as you possibly can. It can be anything from picking up trash on your floor, or you can go show me a bunch of your toys stuck to your hands, or you can go and grab some candy from the candy jar whatever your little heart desires you guys are going to go in the next minute to go find some stickies on or put stuff on your sticky hands so on your mark are you guys ready yeah. get set <clears throat> oh rebecca's already leaving i didn't even say go go <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Rob doesn't want them to get the puzzle pieces. Yeah. <laughs> sticky, 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 sticky. You got 45 seconds. And I'm just gonna sit on my coffee. You stuck your hands together everywhere like I told you. Yeah. Don't worry, Jacob. My kids are too. One hand. One hand. Open your hand. Oh my gosh. No. No, you gotta keep it stuck to your sticky hand now. Why are you dropping it on? How do we got left? We got ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. The dad specifically said don't do the puzzle pieces and Naomi went to the puzzle pieces. Oh man. I say. All right, come back to the screen. Let me see your hands. Okay. Here we go. Naomi, get down. Rebecca, show us her. She got a card. Some hand sanitizer and a candy cane because we still have candy canes in the house. <laughs> I threw ours away yesterday. <laughs> Naomi's got some candy canes, some sweet and low packets, sucker. Yeah. We're going to wait for the toys. Okay. Let's see. Gentry and Gemma. Yeah, you got cards and a sock and. <laughs> What else is in Jeffrey's hands? <laughs> Rylan went for a toy. You got a stick. Oh. Oh, I see. Uh, Eliza, you've got a Kool Aid packet. What else? Pen. Pen. I only had one hand. You only had one. That's okay. Colton, what did Colton get? Colton didn't have enough time. He didn't know how to make his hands. Oh, and 
Oh, maybe next time we'll tell our siblings to help each other out. Kaylee, what did you get? <laughs> Bracken, let me see. What you got? I can't tell what those are. What is it? <laughs> All right, so what you get? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he got a bottle too. <laughs> Olivia. Oh, she got her. Get off of me. Her. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't. Slime even. cup. Slime cup. Yeah. Grayson, a CD. <laughs> That's awesome. Is that the Christmas musical CD? That's awesome. <laughs> Jacob, what'd you get? Let's see, Jacob. Okay, guys, start unraveling your sticky hands. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Legos. Yes, that's a perfect one. And Brent and Maggie, I still can't see you. There you are. There they are. <laughs> What'd you get, Grant? Turn it. Oh, some dinosaurs. Is that Legos? Maggie, what'd you get, guys? Great job, guys. Great job. Great job. So I'm going to mute you guys while you unravel your stickies. Unravel those stickies, guys. Yeah. This would be a great time while you're unraveling your stickies to tell you about our Bible verse challenge. Remember last week I said, if you memorize your Bible verse challenge, videoed it, posted it, showed us it, we would, um, I would let Rob slime me. So, so far we have six kids who have done the challenge. We had yeah. Bailey Moore first, which she's not here today. She must have slept in. Yeah. Yeah. Bailey Moore did it, then Naomi did it, and then Gemma and Gentry did it, and then Ruben and Rebecca did it. So, I, I already said Naomi, Ruben, thanks for your help. <laughs> All right, so I still have Eliza and Colton. You need to do the memory verse. If you want slime to happen, we'll do a special Zoom challenge, or we'll do a Zoom thing where we'll do it. We need Grant and Maggie to do it. Grant and Maggie, give me a thumbs up that you heard me. They're not listening. Grant and Maggie, you guys still need to do the Bible verse challenge. Kaylee Kennedy, you, yep, there you go. She got her thumbs up. You need to do it. And Carson's not here today. He needs to do it. So that should be seven. So we had seven. Oh, and now we have Sophie, Olivia, Grayson. We'll go over the Bible verse in a minute. Jacob, you guys are all have to do it too. And Bracken. So you guys all will need to do it in order for me to get slime because if not everybody's going to do it, I'm not going to get slime. Because <laughs> that stuff is great. Yeah. So anyways, I'm going to unmute Miss Welty. Come back to the screen, guys, because it is time for our story. There you go. You should be unmuted. Okay. Our story today is kind of short and sweet, but it's a pretty good one. So, everybody ready? I'm so glad to see the Joyce's faces and Gentry and hi, Grayson. Hey, Kaylee Kennedy. See you later on a bike ride. Sound good? Okay. So... Today we're picking up the story after Jesus had gone back to heaven and the people who believed in Jesus had gathered together for a really important feast called Pentecost. That's important to remember. Called Pentecost. Just days before this feast, Jesus had given his friends a very important job to do. And Miss Lee, I think, told you about that job last week, that um, their job was to tell everybody about Jesus from Jerusalem to every single country in the whole world. So... As we get into the story today, I'm going to need some help from everybody. So you're going to be a sound machine and you're going to make some sound effects. So um, when I do this, then you're going to make the sound. Okay? So stop laughing at me, Nikki. So when you see me do this, then you're going to make whatever sound I tell you to make. Okay? So, and then when I do this, that clearly means 
stop making the sound. Stop looking at me like that, Olivia Joy. So this means make the sound, and this means stop making the sound, okay? Really creative movement, okay? Okay, so um, as the believers were gathered for a feast, a sound came from the heaven like a strong wind blowing. So make a strong wind sound. Some questionable wind. Come on. You're going to have a really strong wind. Okay, now. Good job. That was pretty good. That's what you did. This is what happened next. Okay, here we go. This is what happened next. The believers saw something that looked like fire in the shape of tongues. The flames separated and came to rest on each of them. So with that, all the believers were filled with the Holy Spirit. They began to speak in languages they had never known before. So that's kind of hard for us to imagine what that would have been like there that day, right? To just be able to speak in another language all of a sudden. So when everyone started speaking different languages at the same time, but we're going to see kind of what that would sound like. Clearly, we can't all speak in a different language, so we're going to do something else, okay? So um, I'm going to count to three, and you're going to say your first, your middle, and your last name, okay? So I'm going to count to three. First, middle, last. Ready? One, two, three. Eliza B. Bunkin. One more Hey, 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 everybody's name. You could have understood everybody's name, wasn't it? I couldn't even hear like one person. I could hear Eliza a little bit just because it's Eliza. But that's not like I couldn't hear every single person's first, middle, and last name. So um, because everybody was talking all at once. So there was an important reason why the Holy Spirit allowed the believers to speak in all those different languages. And it really wasn't confusing at all like ours just was. It was after the believers discovered that they could speak in different languages, they went out to join the crowds who had arrived in Jerusalem for the Pentecost. These crowds of people had traveled in from lots of different places to where the feast, where they spoke different languages for the feast. So when they heard the believers speaking, they were shocked to hear them talking about Jesus in words that they could understand. So like when people from a different country come to America, if they can't speak English, then does what we're saying make any sense to them? No. So the Holy Spirit gave the believers the ability to speak in all these different languages so that they could spread the word of Jesus to all these different people. So now we're going to say our basic truth all together on the count of three so our basic truth is i can trust god no matter what so say that by yourself really quick i can trust god no matter what okay and now i'm going to count to three and we're all going to say it together to see if we can understand it then okay so i can trust god no matter what ready one two Three. three. I can just go. No matter what. Is that a little bit easier to understand? Could you understand yes. every time? Yes. See, because we were all saying the same thing, right? So of course the story of the events at Pentecost didn't happen exactly like that. But still, we can imagine how it might have felt when the people arriving for the feast heard people speaking about Jesus in their own language. So Peter gathered the disciples and spoke to the crowd, and he said, Jesus of Nazareth was a man who had God's approval. God did miracles, wonders, and signs among you through Jesus. You yourselves know this. Long ago, God planned that Jesus would be handed over to you. With the help of evil people, you put Jesus to death. You nailed him to the cross, but God raised him from the dead. So Peter helped the people understand everything that Jesus had done. He helped them understand that God really, that Jesus really is God's son, the savior of the world. So after this, we can only imagine that everybody in the crowd went, ooh, ah. So that's what you're going to do because you're the crowd. Ready? Go. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. 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 Good job. I'm so curious, Anna. Okay. So that day, 3,000 people 
don't believe in Jesus. They decided to follow him and were baptized, 3,000 people. With the help of God's Holy Spirit, Peter and the disciples had already begun their big, huge job of telling people everywhere about Jesus before they even left Jerusalem. Jesus had told his followers that a helper would come to them, and now it happened. The believers had the help of the Holy Spirit, and they would never have to go alone again. So this story reminds us of something super important. Our bottom line is God gives you what you need to keep going. So that's our bottom line. God gives you what you need to keep going. So let's pray and thank God for giving us exactly what we need. Ready? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you for sending the gift of the Holy Spirit. We know that when we put our faith in Jesus, we have the Holy Spirit working in our lives too, helping us to make the wise choice and live your way every day. Thank you for giving us the help we need to do the things you want us to do. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Good job. Amen. All righty. So it isn't always easy to live God's way, right? So God knew that we would need help. So he gave us the Holy Spirit. When things get tough, we don't have to rely on ourselves. When we believe and put our faith in Jesus, we receive the gift of the Spirit. And the Spirit helps us follow Jesus when he, with the choices we make every day. So you see, God always had a plan to send a helper. Jesus made a way for us to have a relationship with God. And because of Jesus, we can have the help of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit helps us have determination to finish what we started. So the Holy Spirit helped the early believers in a big way. With the Spirit, they were able to begin the big job that Jesus had given them that Lee told us about last week. So they had begun to tell the whole world about him. So this is what we need to remember today. I lost my slides. I don't know where they went to. So listen up. What we need to remember today is God gives you what you need to keep going. All right. I'm going to say it again. God gives you what you need to keep going. Some of us met people who have lived through really hard things. And many of those people will say things, I couldn't have made it without God's help. So when things get really hard in your life, or when you find yourself up against the real challenge, you need to trust Jesus. If you believe in Jesus, you don't have to do anything alone. You have the Holy Spirit inside of you to help you, all right? So I'm going to remind you our Bible verse this month. All right. We've got people that have memorized it already. So we're going to unmute. And let's Gentry, Gemma, and my three can say the Bible verse. So guys, I hope you remember it. So here we go. Say the Bible verse. One, two, three. Let us talk to you about you. And after the right time, we will gather it up if we don't give up. Go away from six and nine. Six nine. Okay, so, Galatians six nine. All right. It says, let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. So, um, can I go now? So, we are getting ready to play Kahoot now with Miss Welty. So, I'm going to go ahead and mute everybody. If you have your device, go ahead and get it out so you can play Kahoot. You need to go to Kahoot It or something like that dot com, and I'm gonna make Miss Fulty the host. Kahoot dot it. Kahoot dot it. There you are. Make host. There you go. Change it. Ready? Let me get it, my stuff out. Thank you. 
Courtney, are you still on there? I don't see your picture. I know it's not. I can't. I can't. Okay, I joined again on Jesse's Chromebook. Oh, okay. Okay, okay is everybody ready? Yep. They're all muted, so they probably can't hear you. <laughs> Spirit thing. That was the name of the story. Mm -hmm. What well, was the very important job Jesus had given his friends? Uh, although baking cupcakes is important, Miss Leaky, about Jesus was a little bit. We more. can't get on. Uh oh, well, P, they can't get on. It says we, we always used our Chromebooks, but our Chromebooks are dead, so we don't know how to get on. Down there, Down there at the bottom, it says Game Ten. What, what was the name of the important feat that took place in our story today? Eliza, do you have the number? It's one two one zero nine six nine. We don't know how to get it. Pentecost was the name of the feast. We're right here. Did you go to Kahoot dot it? Yeah. I can't I don't know about things. What does it say? I we can't read it. What's it say on there? Uh choose your account type. Wait, hold on. Uh do student. What do we do from right here? Does it say Can game pin? Is there a game pin? No. No. Did you go to Kahoot.it or Kahoot.com? Kahoot. Kahoot.com. Uh, kahoot yeah, you have to go to Kahoot.it. Okay. Kahoot Sorry, that was probably my fault, Eliza. Just. Okay. It says enter game pin. Okay. What's the game pin? One, one two, two. One, <laughs> two, two. Zero, nine, six, nine. Zero, nine, six, nine. It's two, two. One, two, one, zero, nine, six, one, two, five. Oh, okay. One, two. Enter. Enter. Did you get in? Yeah, and now we have to keep the on the skin. You ready, Liza? Yeah. We gotta see what the question is. What did the believers discover they could do? They could speak in different languages, they could fly, they could ride their bikes, or they could cook great dinners. They said that they could eat some Hi! I don't know. They could speak in different languages. Good job. Hey, we can't, uh, Miss Welty, we can't see, like, the questions on your screen. We can only see the things on this. You still have to look at your computer. You can see what you're looking at when you're looking at us, Eliza? That's where, this, that's where the question and the answers are located. And then you're just going to use your phone to put in either the triangle, the square, circle, or whatever. I know, but we can't. 
we always see your faces. We don't see like. Oh, you know. Oh, you're not seeing the actual screen sharing right now. No. Yeah. Like you don't see Miss Welty's um, computer. No. Okay. Well, um, we can tell you what the we can read the answers and with what color or what like triangle or shape it is. I think there's only like two questions left. Okay. I'll read them. Ready? How many people did Peter lead to Jesus that day? The triangle is three, the diamond is 30, the circle is 300, and the square is 3,000. How many people did Peter lead to Jesus that day? Three, 30, 300, or 3,000? Three thousand people. There were three thousand people at the feast of the Pentecost that day. Ooh, that one got us. Let's see. Oh, didn't get Kaylee still in the lead. Joyce is quick second. Watch out, Kaylee. Joyce is scary. The believers had the help of the Holy Spirit, Church, Bible, or Songs. Triangle is Holy Spirit. Diamond is Church. Oh man, good job. Had the help of the Holy Spirit. And this last one is a poll. Okay. It's not like a real question. It's a poll. Kaylee in the lead. How much do you miss church? How much do you miss church? Not, not at all. all. A little bit. And I just wanted to use this picture mostly. A lot. A lot. We're so much. <laughs> Triangle is not at all. Diamond is a little bit. Circle is a lot. Square is so much. You like love that picture. I do. I miss you too. Oh, we miss you guys. <laughs> Most people <laughs> so much. At least nobody put not at all. So one said just a little bit. <laughs> Bracken collected so much. Okay, here we go. Third, third place. Grant Carrier. In second place, Olivia Joyce. And in first place, da, 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 Kaylee Kennedy. And for is Maggie and Parker. Good job. Okay. That's all I have, Miss Nikki. Nikki. All right, guys. So your challenge this week is to memorize the Bible verse. Because if you don't, I'm not going to slime myself for no reason. So we got to memorize our Bible verse and video it. Upload it. Have your parents upload it to Facebook. All right. I will send out reminders. And when your parents say, have you memorized your Bible verse? You're going to say, hopefully, yes. It's, let us not. Go. Become tired, tired of doing good. good. At the, the right, right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. Galatians 6, 9. All right. Don't forget to tell your moms Happy Mother's Day. They love you all very much. Happy Mother's Day. And so uh, be good to them. It is quarantine Mother's Day, which means they might want a nap. I don't know. So, <laughs> all right, y'all are muted. If you want to unmute and say bye. 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 Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Bye. bye. Miss Wilkie, you have to Happy end Mother's it for Day. good. You're the hub. Oh, I do? Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye.